Hello everybody and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This is how to train a speedrunner and tonight we are going to be learning Watch Dogs. Before we get into that, I do have just a few quick reminders. Uh, so Frame Fatales will be having its next all-women speedrunning event, Flame Fatales, in late August. Game and volunteer submissions are open right now and they're open until May 22nd. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can type exclamation FF in Twitch chat or you can go to gamesdonequick.com slash Frame Fatales for more information on that. And then also we have uh, Summer Games on Quick 2022 coming up. That's going to be June 26th to July 3rd. So be sure to register before May 23rd if you want to attend our event live in Minnesota. Uh, with all that said, I'm joined by Random Machine. Uh, how are you doing tonight? I am good. So I'm Random Machine. I'm the war record holder for this game. I've been since 2015. So... I've been involved with spewing of this game almost since its release date. And I found a lot of strats in this game. So before we get into the run, I want to make sure that the patch of a game is version 1.04 or 4. Because that allows us to do a glitch in the run. And the patch can be found on spion.com watchdogs page. And also want to be playing at easy difficulty since we want to go as fast as possible. And now we can start. So at the beginning of this game, after you start, we have a cutscene, but it's normally not skippable, but our community, we allowed a, a mod to skip this cutscene. Again, it's on the Watchdogs page on Spearman.com. It's the intro skip mod. So we'll just skip this. And the run will start when I point the gun at this guy. How's your memory now? And it's just a sh short quick down event to just spam the melee button. And there are some items that you can pick up for crafting in this game, in this room, to start. So, you can pick up the chemical component without losing any time. For the, you, you can hack this phone. There's also a system key, but that wastes time to do. So, what you can do is just pick up the chemical component and then just immediately hack the phone and start to skip some dialogue. Start to skip the phone's dialogue. And I have that binded to mouse button 5, as you can see in my input display. I need to keep moving. Yo, Maurice. And after the exit to there, I can cover slide there to skip a slow walking there. And if you go over here, there's some two cops here and yeah, you can skip them by doing cover slide well not like that but so I use uh, I do the cover slide at the where the body is this guy is going to be so just run and slide press C and you can exit out of cover by pressing the vault button So, so that just skips waiting for those guys. 
survival zoo today, and this game couldn't be any closer. And for this camera, you have to wait. Oh, oh it's better to wait until. It tells you to. The yellow prompt. So that it points in the correct direction. Rather than hacking it immediately. So then you just start hacking these cameras. Without moving any. Without moving the camera angle. Because if you move the camera angle, then it would just He's not moving unless I give him a point in a different direction or something like that. That can happen. So just to start crafting and do this. And you want to run towards this door here, far away from the guard, so you can just sprint past him. And climb up the escalator, cover near the door, and press the vault button to get out, cover, go through the door. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm now I just gotta wait for some dialogue there. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought he wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. You are yeah, cops, there's gotta be so for hacking this camera, you... Yeah. I move up and to the right while hacking it. That voice profile the other car, other cards, and you can just immediately profile the correct guard. Hack the access code. Immediately after hacking the terminal, you want to go into the weapon wheel to access the blackout and use it. It's always in the bottom right, so you can just select it by doing that. And you can cover slide to this door. Again, I have that bound to see. So, in this section, the force just walks slowly, so you can do, even do more cover sliding to move faster. And try to see there's some people to hack. Now we go to this door, and and you can press right click to skip any of those tutorials that show up, and you could just drive past some cops on this mission by taking this route. And once you get us out of this escape circle, one through the hall safe. This basic checkpoint abuse. It puts a, us at the next location that we want to go to. Which is the motel. And there are a bunch of items that they came give us here. System key, electronic parts, chemical components, and stable chemical components. Make sure to pick up every, every part there. Because we want to craft some parts later in the game. Now, I want to just spam the middle mouse button, at least on PC. You're playing a mouse and keyboard. And just get into the skills menu. Now we pick the first skill. Gates, gates and garages and blockers, which we need for a strat later in the run. Car lock, because we don't want to waste time trying to break into any cars. 
and the frag grenade and the lure. I mean, jam come. Could also pick up a steady aim instead of the blockers earlier. But we are, we need to focus. I get steady aim if you struggle with aiming in this game. You can get that instead of blockers, and we can get the blockers later. So now, it tells us to use this bed. So what I'll do here is do a short skip. I'll do it really, really quick. But just letting you know, so what I'll do is enter into the C menu one time and then immediately exit out using the right mouse button. And then uh, actually sleep. And what that does is actually skip the getting up the bed, anim bed animation after this cutscene is over. Another thing I want to mention is that the intro cutscene skip mod also allows you to skip this cutscene, but you're not allowed to skip it in the speedrun. If we do that, then the run is invalid. So yeah, because I did the skip earlier, he's up from the bed already. And you can cover slide there to get out of the door earlier. I just gotta wait for the short cutscene. With that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. I need to get my mind off things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. And they can't hide from me. Immediately, you want to find someone to hack as fast as possible. And they always have a bank account. That will start dialogue from Aiden, so. During that time, I jump down to the sidewalk. I'm gonna cycle between a couple people by profiling them and see if they have any system keys. Now that we have the money in the system key, we can just try to cycle between some people, get the potential crime. I want to shoot them, and then create the grenade and throw it. And that skips the potential crime. And you, I run over there to get this car. A couple of the fastest cars spawn in that location, so that's a good spot to try to find a good car for this drive. Now we're just driving to the next mission. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party's started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick. I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. So when I start this mission, I restart. I go into the main menu and restart the mission. That skips the opening cutscene of the mission where Aiden talks to himself. And I'll be doing that for a lot of missions in the run. Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. 
We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilante. And since we have to wait for some dialogue, I, make a mean bag I just go in and out of it. I gave him Nikki's room. Should have come earlier. I could have Into the hallway. That also sets up a dialogue skip when she answers her phone. His boy was going to have his birthday cake. That thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. Listen to me, I'm rambling. Yeah, there's a lot of small skips in this run. Just like a lot of dialogue skips by knowing what exactly to do and everything. So there. So when oh, she says, listen to police. You don't scare me. That's when you know you got the dialogue skip. Just going in and out a room out to the hallway. You know, I just went over here and try to see if there's some people attack. And... There's a cutscene that's gonna come up, so... What I do is, I hold board and... I spam spacebar, which is... For me, it's sprint and skip cutscene. That will lead to skip to allow me to get inside this car. Who was that? Grown man making crank calls. So normally you're not supposed to be able to get inside this car. But I get inside this car to shoot this guy. Damn it. He's on the move. So just drive over there, get in, outside the car, and use focus to shoot, to shoot this guy. Hack his phone about 20, 21 meters away. Then you try to find someone to hack, or you, you can trip the alarm. That skips the call between Damien and the guy that I just killed. So I go over there, try to see if there's any good vehicles. Normally a bike spawns there, but if it doesn't, you can take the super fast car in the parking spot instead. So you really want to get a bike for this drive and for this next mission as well. So now I'm going to be heading towards the the bridge that leads to the bunker that you'll see later in the run. I'm doing that to create a cash run. Uh, cash runs are a mini game where you run around on foot to collect some imaginary coins in the fastest time possible. So you can use them to create your custom fast run travel points. And now, when getting into a cash run, you want to make sure that you get into it as fast as possible after the mission completes, otherwise dialogue or something else will interrupt it. Luminar's private contractors like that. CTO so These guys I was I was quick enough I could have gotten into the menu before he be starts his dialogue. So I go into the cash run menu. Press tab to remove the auto drop. And I use the mouse button to drop these coins down. Now I go to use the arrow buttons to save the cash run. And I normally don't say name the cash runs, but I'm I am going to do do it for this run. Oh, 
or we'll make it again. So this is a location that goes to the bunker. We don't want to name the bunker. Something like that. Do whatever you want to. So exit out the cash menu, then head immediately to the gun shop. If the TOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. So not not gonna buy any weapons. Instead of doing that, just want to point the gun at this guy. Skips buying the gun. Saves a few seconds. There you want to wait until the RSH icon shows up, the blue spinning thing, and create a cache run here. This will be for getting the grenade launcher later in the run when we have enough money so that we can use it for some strats. So now we're heading to our next mission, uh, first CTOS control center. And we can pretty much do this mission outside of the mission area. We don't have to go inside. We can do it on the vehicle. Joke. I need access. So you want to hack the camera from there, doing that. that right access key. Call. Then hack the the attract over here and then hack the guy's camera. <laughs> and this turbine over here is a very first hacking puzzle in the game. There are a lot of these in the game. This is a pretty much muscle memory. So I'm not gonna go in, in too much detail except for a few of them. But what you want to know is that you don't have to be directly on top of the node to be able to to move the node. So uh automatically locks onto the node where your cursor is closest to. So if you struggle with this, the camera strat there, I'm going to show you the easier way of doing that. Going to redo the mission after this cutscene. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I got to move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. So if you want to practice the hack, that hacking puzzle, you can just exit out of the hacking puzzle and back in again. So now, if you do struggle with that camera shot, you can switch to the far camera like this. That makes it a little bit easier to hack the camera from outside. This new security is no joke. I need access. Gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Okay, that was me. So yeah, I see. Just press escape to exit out. But if you're normally practicing this, you can try to kill the guards go inside. So, if you just... So just complete this mission again. Yeah. 
So now we're just heading to the next mission. Make sure to go into the cash room menu after this mission is over. So now we want to create a cash run for the prison mission at the end of Act 1. And this next mission, hacking contract is here. So make sure to park the bike correctly and get out. Wait for this mission to show up. And start the mission and get on the bike immediately. Start driving to this location. And then spam right mouse button to skip this tutorial uh, pop up. So with a bike, you want to drive, just drive into this guy. Kill this guy. That's one fixer down. Now, how many more are out there? So then I go over there and I rob this guy. And the reason why I rob this guy, or I do robberies in this run, is to get money. That's bad fucking news. I remember right. So after 2.53 seconds after this dialogue. He can go into the menu early. He can go into the menu before it tells you to, but they call the cops on me. That doesn't always happen, but that can happen if you do the robberies. So if this happens, normally you want to use a jam cam or something. Restart mission there. And the cars that spawn over here, over in this parking lot after you restart the mission are random, so you want to get a good vehicle. And sometimes really fast cars spawn to the right of the parking lot, like this car. So there's another driving strat in this game called power turning. We basically just use the focus to allow us to turn the vehicle and allows us to carry more speed than you usually are able to. Instead of using brakes, we can just power turn instead by using the focus and holding the direction keys of the car. But it can be harder than re regular driving. So it's not that's something I expect new runners to be able to learn very quickly. I'm going to demonstrate right here. So something like that but without the crashing. Normally when you drive here, you could just immediately hack the, the garage door, but this is a scanning me. I'm not allowed to hack it. Just yet. So I'm just going to restart the mission. Chicago police managed to interrupt a nighttime invasion on a manufacturing plant. One assailant died at the scene while one remains. So I'll just do this drive again without slowing down. This is how you normally would do it in a speed run. Units, CTOS scan initiated. CTOS can authorize 
Specializing search for suspect now. So now I'm gonna do some more power turning. And I can just drive past these cops. I see it. So just drive try follow the same route as I do. And you should be able to avoid it. Sometimes this guy still sees you though. What the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye on it. The cops are still searching. Your route. Damn, it's a patrol car. I see it. So like that. Now I just follow the same route and this alleyway. This this alleyway. And the cutscene will start. Immediately skip it and And we start driving to the next mission area. So we can also skip Aiden's dialogue in this game when he, he's talking to someone else. In person or on the phone, if he falls on the ground for some reason, so I'm gonna do that. How'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay work. A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta like that. The from the so you want to be Relax. Listen, moving slow enough I that it doesn't bounce off the ground or something, I don't know if I'll take but also not. Be going slow enough that he gets out the car without falling on the ground. So these dollar skills can be kind of tricky. Again, do no robbery, get some money for later, and just wait for his next mission. Again, just restart mission to skip the cutscenes. And if you're quick enough, you can get on this bike before it tells you to get some skills. So we're gonna pick some skills. So we're going to get at least the Sable Helicopter, the Blackout skill, and probably the Improved Focus. We need the Blackout skill because it's probably the most OP skill in this game. Allows us to escape from enemies at night and also allows us to run past enemies on foot, makes them blind completely. You'll see later in the run and the Sable Helicopter is used just for one mission at the end of Act 1 when we need to escape from the police. And we can get bridges or blockers here. Because this is a, just another good time to get skills. We need the, them for later. And proof focus is... It just helps us aim. So we need to track your caller. But he's sneaky. So here his his there are a bunch of cars in this area Clark and strategy is just to drive into this like that. place with the bike while they're shooting at you. So to make it consistent, you can just drive into this guy entrance. That gives you a little bit more time before they start shooting at you. Looks like underground in the tunnel. Slow down and just drive to this guy. Hack a system key. Maybe kill that guy if he's shooting at you. If not, you can just run past. And you can just do his mission from cameras. So did you find any? When you love to know. I'm in the building. You see what's ahead? There are 
layout shows a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to Another hacking puzzle. It's perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. I'm telling you, it's I'll not try. just... Are the hacking puzzles the same every time? They're not randomized? No, they're same every single time. Awesome. So over the hour save there, that skips dialogue between Aiden and Clara there, if you're quick enough to hacking the Bradley Coughlin. So pick up those components, it doesn't waste any time because you need to wait for scans anyway. So to there, just immediately just spam right mouse button and G to activate the jam com there. And he starts scanning you. These scans are random, unfortunately, and they can cost you a lot of time in the run. Moving scans are what you do, do not want because they waste 30 seconds, they take, just take longer to disappear and they chase you. So what you want instead are stationary scans, the, the ones that don't move and... Those just disappear more quickly. And during this time you can, you can do some robberies too. Normally with stationary scans you can do one or two robberies with moving scans you can do two or three. Maybe more if you get a good vehicle at the start of the drive. Hey you do everything right, you should be able to get here before the mission completes. And this is where the next mission is gonna be, so Again, restart mission, skip the cutscene, and make a grenade here. So you want to throw a grenade here that destroys this explosion on top and the steam pipe. Profile this thing and activate the CTOS boxes. So we don't need to be going up there on foot in person, we can just use the cameras to complete this mission. That's why we need need to blow these things up, so they don't get in the way. What the hell is this? Bellwether. I knew you'd find me. You always were one for a mystery. How are you, Aiden? Damien Branks. The hell is he doing? I hope you don't mind the games. Wanted to see if you'd lost your edge. So now just waiting for some dialogue first before we can continue. Uh, you'll want to be quick. Breaking in like you did tripped an alarm. This isn't what I had planned for us. But we're about to be interrupted. Come find me. I'll pick someplace nice. Why would he harass my sister? We haven't spoken since... the Merlot. So this is where we use our first blackout. Using the system keys that we got earlier in the run. Looks like there's a new target for all you hitters out there. Drop what you're doing and get on it. Because it's nighttime, we can just use it to escape these enemies. Wanna craft it now. Then use the blackout. 
almost immediately as the guys spot you, detect you. That will make the escaping these guys more consistent. Sometimes there's going to be vehicles here that you have still have to avoid. Like that. I wasn't able to avoid them, so... That could happen. So to avoid those guys, instead you should just... Just drive from the sidewalk or so, something like that. Be careful. That usually doesn't happen. Yeah, so the spawns and the vehicles in this mission are random, so most of the time they don't get in your way. You can just drive directly to this mission area. So I drive over here is because Damon's going to meet you. All right, Damon. And cutscene's going to start. And you, you want to make sure not to drive vehicle too close to the stairs or into that, that area, the square area there. That will despawn the car. So make sure you park it far enough away. And if you're quick enough, you can do another robbery at the end of this mission. Try to find some people to hack if there are any. If not, you want to go over here to use the train station fast travel. It's another form of fast travel in this game. Just go into to this location. So, make another cash room there and try to find a bike. There usually are bikes over here in this area, but. Sometimes they aren't, so instead just take the fastest cars. Uh, so we do have a question from chat. Uh, if you're not quick enough to pull off the robberies, what's the alternative income source? If you can't pull off the robberies, well, there are, isn't any alternative. Okay, so you just, you just kind of got to make it work. You have to, yeah. Okay. So now if we keep the cash run menu up and create another cash run and over this place. That'll be for two missions later in the run.
And sometimes there can be police cars here that can spot you and that can waste a little bit of time. So if that does happen, you will need to reload all safe to escape the police. So you can just get into the phone menu early and to the cash run for his Dursus dialogue. And if you're not quick enough, that can happen. So you want to get into the cash run menu quickly. How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now, relax, I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. Hey, I want to go to this location. So using the cash run that we created earlier, we teleport back to the train station. Then use train station fast travel to teleport to this location. Because the next mission is right next to this train station. And we do not restart this mission because we want to keep the bike. Because if we restart the mission, then we lose the bike. Where is he? Jordy can be a pain to work with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let the survivor ID me. This mission, there's a bunch of enemies in the area there. We can ignore pretty much all the enemies. By just driving past them with the bike. Except for like one or two guys that we drive into to make sure that they don't, don't kill us. Yeah, you can use a handbrake turn to do handbrake to do a used U turn or something. Find handbrakes easier for U turning in this game, and he wanted to do this jump. I tried to aim to the left to jump into this area, and here you want to make sure that you hack the terminal, drive into this guy. Yeah, you can jump over the bike if you need to. Get inside this area. Pick up the AK and jam com as you're running past. And you can get on this bike during this casting. And make sure you create the blackout. And you want to make sure Helicopter starts moving or Jory starts his dialogue before you activate the blackouts. That makes this strat more consistent. And usually by the time you get over here, if the strat works, then you should be able to get the escape circle. Sometimes there can also be a vehicle here at the end of this mission, so you can drive from the sidewalk or to avoid the sky. And you can do another opera here if you're quick enough. So aim that direction and restart the mission. Try to see if there's any vehicles there. Take there's a faster strat here where you can use the car to hack our profile Helena, but it's kind of hard until you learn how to drive a control of vehicles in this game. So I'm just going to do a easier strat. Let's go on foot to profile and hack Helena. Okay, Helena. You're up. Hello? Miss Tucci? I'm Dr. Hyatt with the Chicago General Hospital. 
We received your Uncle Angelo's blood work, but you're the only number he gave us. Do you know where we can reach him? It's urgent. No, sorry. I haven't heard from my uncle in years. Okay, thank you, man. Wait for it. So we go about 20, 21 meters away, right here. Went to hack Galena first. And then hack the, that guy. That skips a little bit of dialogue on the phone call there. There you are. I went to immediately start running towards the spike after you hacked him. Basically, we're going to use a spike to try to this convoy and kill these guys. Tracking his GPS. Cut him off before he reaches the prison. Nice. And here, yeah, you want to kill everyone except for Angelo Tucci's driver. So you could save his driver for last for some reason for some reason because it doesn't count towards the objective. Okay, usually people call the cops at the end of this mission, so that's where you want to use the champ comp. And get inside these cars to get some components if there are any. And you want to use the Cash one you created earlier to teleport to the prison. This is where the next mission is going to be. This mission, you just gotta wait for cars to move around. You can't really speed this mission up. So just hack their cameras. So while we're waiting, we can get a system key in this location. So this is the card that you want to hack to hack the terminal to open the doors, but you have to wait for the to move to the correct spot before you can hack the camera and the terminal. And you want to zoom in, make sure not to hack anything else. Inside. Uh, obviously. Cut the shit. I should have sent you in here. This was your mistake. You might want to keep it down. You'll end up with a free trip to solitary. I can't get you out. I'm gonna find the inmate schedule. We'll be in touch. So there's another strat here. Uh, I'm running close to this wall here, and where's the exercise yard? Up top. I can skip some dialogue in this next room. Slow down here. No, it didn't work, but he can skip these guys' dialogue and he can just immediately hack this guy's camera and hack the terminal and uh, open the doors there and to the hacking puzzle. If I remember right, this guy had his own Picasso ink all over his face. Ugly as So you don't need to. Always place the cursor on someone to profile them. If they're important NPC like this guy, you can just profile them by 
placing a cursor somewhere near near them. Who says I have to be moved? Who are you guys? What about my lawyer? Where are you? Where are we going? Answer Gee, me! Sucks. Show me the Will you paperwork. Shut up. Where's my lawyer? We're taking you to your no. lawyer. No, no way! Right after we clean what you, are you up first. I ain't going with shut a bunch of crooked. Shut up! Fuck off. Damn. Better reach him fast before they kill him. And you want to position your camera to hack this elevator door immediately after this cutscene. Can't take this guy out. Get the system key if you're quick enough. Get the system key if you're quick enough. So, yeah. And immediately, just a little owl save when this owl save shows up. You want to pick up this focus boost and his shotgun next to his cart. And you want to kill these guys as quickly as possible with his shotgun. And you want to pick up this rifle. One of these guys has it. One of these guys should have a rifle somewhere. Don't know where I went. <laughs> so kill this guy, you focus uh, and shoot him in the head. Just play a little bit safe there. So I could use this focus boost to reset the focus if you need to. I need backup now. And make sure you reload your gun after killing the enforcer, in case you don't have enough bullets to kill these guys. And sometimes this door can refuse to open, so if that happens, you can just go back a little bit to the previous room. And that should open the door. And this is where we use the Sable Helicopter skill. At first, I shoot this guy this police officer in the lake or kill him to prevent from killing you then aim the camera up to save the helicopter and immediately after that get inside this car you can jump me down here you should be able to lose the cops if that doesn't work just just usually because of RNG bad RNG you can reload all safe and we try to find a bike here Usually is a bike in this area, 90% of the time. For the bike, we, we use it for an, a strat in the next mission. It saves like 20 seconds or so. Now we drive to the next mission and make sure not to go too fast drive into the, the water here. Aiden, we had a very so this mission we start without restarting the mission because we again we need to keep the bike. And drop him. He's too reckless. He's too dangerous. Now I try to drive out of this area with the bike as well as you can. Are you? I don't think you're gonna like my answer. You know what? Forget it. I don't need whatever you got. Probably nothing but if you're too fast going out of this area, you can actually get the countdown timer to expire. But you can also use focus to prevent it from expiring. 
So now I'm driving backwards because the game thinks I'm supposed to be in that area. Looking at Damien's video. But I'm actually driving away now, so. Driving away, away to his next objective. Son of a bitch played me and I let him. What's he doing at Nikki's? Where is Jax? Damien doesn't have him. I hope he's got his tablet. There. If you want, you can use the bike that you drove there with or the bike across the street. If you have a grenade in this area, you want to craft a grenade, so you can use it for the strat here. But if you don't have a grenade, then I'll show you what to do instead. So there's a strat here uh, where you stop the train, but you can only do it with you below the house safe. So I'm going to do that after I hack, hack the train. Make sure you do that first, then reload the house safe. Alright, hack the train. Get Jackson moving and away from these guys. Check every car. Kids here somewhere. All right. That's so instead of throwing a grenade, I'm going to shoot their tires. So you had the grenade, you would shoot the tire of the far car and sh throw a grenade on this close c closer car and immediately get inside the car to drive away. Normally you want to go to the ride this train like this and you should get a good escape circle RNG like this. Damn, stupid shit got away. For some reason this doesn't work if you don't rely on safe so you need to rely on safe to do this strat. Just do this and get inside the train. So now we go up here to try to find a random vehicle to drive to the next mission. Sometimes there are parked vehicles here, but that's rare. And usually you just get a random vehicle that's driving by. Then create a cash run for one of the missions later in the run. So these guys also like to call the cops on you. So just use a jam comp if they do. No. Somebody help him. I'm heading into a tough neighborhood. So just shoot that scarce shopkeeper and you don't have to buy any components or anything like that. If you do buy components, you have to wait longer. So now we have to want to go back to the gun shop to buy grenade launcher. to use for a couple of strats. Nice day, isn't it? Hey, he's got a gun. So now we want to go back to train station. We so want to use a cash for that. This one. So yeah, that can be a problem remembering them if you don't name them so the cash runs that he create first are going to be in the bottom right the new ones are going to be the upper left yeah i better hack the district control center first your ride's ready so jump down like that and use the car and the man app to spawn kakodachi which is a sports bike that you will have just have uh, locked available by default. 
Now we can just go to the CTOS control center. And then get inside the cache menu. You want to get inside the cache menu early in case the game decides to do a media broadcast because those prevent you from getting inside the cache menu. So you want to create a great cache one here for some later missions. And you do not want to go inside this area before you exit this cash run because otherwise you have to go to another location to start this mission, which wastes time. So that's, that's why I wait outside. Here I try to stay behind this truck and enter into first person camera to hack this camera. If you struggle with this, you can just exit out the vehicle and do this instead. So this is a time mission, just complete outside of the mission area. No need to go inside and kill anyone. Now start heading to the next mission. And you want to go into the cache menu here, not to create a cache run or to use a cache run, but to prevent the map casting from showing up. Uh, that map casting will show you where the mission is going to be. But since I already know where the mission is, I'm just going to drive there. So just make sure you again give yourself enough time to exit out the menu and start the mission before the casting shows up. And this mission is what we need the green launcher for and we're going to use it to do a skip here. But first we need to get the access code, shoot this guy in the head first. I only use one shot normally, that attracts everyone over there, over to this area. Then hack his access code and I take this route to avoid the enemies. Make sure to pick up, pick up these components as well. So go over here, that spawns Robert Racine inside his garage. So now I'm just going to go over there to shoot him through the mall with the grenade launcher. And go inside this car, the drive there is safer. And also allows you to do a dialogue skips if you want to. So reference point is to aim the grenade launcher something like this at this brick and you should be able to kill him with a couple shots or with one shot if you're good enough gotcha I normally do that uh so I clear? I blocked my entry to the car there so I can't get inside there to do Dallas skip but we do need to go back here to get some items so just gotta be careful of some of the enemies here. So be very careful not to die. Ooh. 
and now we go into the map and we want to go back to a hideout so we just fast travel there using the map that's where the next mission is going to be you must have been planning this for a while that man always now we're going to use the green launcher for this mission too same there that should kill those guys on the roof then switch to the AK-47 shoot the rest of these guys on the balcony then switch to the back to green launcher blow up these vehicles then then go over here straight for vehicles to arrive Like that and you can kill these guys on the roof with the green archer. Sometimes if you're lucky you can kill them all all one shot. There's a lot of explosives on the roof there, so that could happen. So you have a grenade you can blow this car up as it's coming there to be safe. So that they don't shoot you. And just wait for. Sometimes you have to wait for the player to get inside a car. I usually should get inside the car in time. I we can just drive here. Try to do it that I'll skip. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. God. Who are you? I don't know how to answer that. I know a place where we can talk. So this cash. This guy's when we can enter into it early and when to go back to the bunker to start this next mission. Need to find a way inside that bunker. Undetected access to the whole city. I could use a break right now. To so start this mission, we just have to pretty much just walk and talk with Clara. Can't do anything to speed up. If we go too far away, she would just stop and stop talking. Oh, if you pull a weapon out, we'd fail the mission because you scared the homeless people. Hey, you try to drive a car inside this area, we'll do the same thing. So you can't really do anything then, right now. Just gotta wait for dialogue first. You really want this place to be real, don't you? It is real. So you're buying into the legend. Papa used to take me camping in Mont Tremblant. He'd always say we were looking for treasure. I didn't understand then that he was stealing from the cabins. Gold watches, tools. The look on his face when it was something special. Like one time. I found an old rusted coin with a regal emperor. So far, nothing seems super complicated. Uh, some of the strats are difficult to execute, like dialogue skips can be difficult to execute. If you're not familiar with the driving the vehicles in this game, you need to learn how to control the speed and stuff. The dialogue skips can be difficult. So there's some items we can also pick up on this mission. There. That's where Tobias runs his shop. I kept chemical components, unstable chemical components, system key, and electronic parts. It's not there, but now. Someone here knows how when Clara reaches there, you can start running to his car and hack this guy. Then immediately get inside this car. You want to run out of this, drive out of this area to skip this cutscene that's showing up. For this van guy and dragons on his bike. Poker game, huh? Let's see where you're hiding. There we go. You want to make sure not to 
get too close there before this cutscene. Otherwise, you can trigger it. But if you're outside of this range here, you can just skip this cutscene with this guy. And you want to use focus and green launcher to shoot this guy. It'll send reinforcements after you, but you can just drive away from them. So take this route by jumping across the swatter by using the ramp here and go over here. The escape circle should appear soon. Like that. So it doesn't really matter if you get pursued here. Should be able to lose them pretty quickly. Because this is a long drive. Yeah, there aren't many glitches used in the run. There's one big glitch that we use to skip a part of the mission. That's what we need for the patch 1.04 that I talked about before the start of this run. Okay. Illegal poker out here. Who'd suspect? So you can actually cover side here. As well. Just exile cover, then immediately start the poker game. So I just spam left mouse button, mouse button and space Let's do this. to bet, and space skips, kind of skips some of the animations. Who are you? I don't know you. I, I don't know him. Relax. Are you Tobias? So there's our save coming up after this poker game. No, Tobias will flip the table. Business. You can reload our save there if you have fast loading. It does save time. Tobias. So he went to go to his bike. This is what you're going to be using to chase down Tobias. Make sure not to kill him. So instead, run into the fence. Fences to knock knock him down. That will stun him a little bit, allowing you to get off the bike to take him down. And now we're going to get into cash run to teleport the bunker. Like now we just gotta wait a little bit for some dialogue first before this we can start this next mission. So I just threw some trash. Hey, by the way, Maurice volunteered. When you restart this mission, there's always a bike here, so. That's nice. We're gonna use this bike to do a little jump. Hopefully it works. We played poker. Had a nice talk. What did he say? So you wanna to go to the right part of this rock of this jump. Don't worry. Like that. To go to this lift. So here you can skip the use of the camera by just angling the, using the camera angle, different camera angle to hack this terminal. Like that, then hack explosion to destroy the fence. And we, after using this generator, we can reload all safe. That will teleport me back to the middle of this island. You want to do that after 
using each generator. That saves a lot of time just by escaping a lot of running around. I hope there's a secret elevator. You pull a switch and the floor drops into a hidden base deep underground. Underwater? We're on an island. Wishful thinking. Up then. One of the buildings. I'll keep looking. can pick up the component there if you want to be safe or if you don't have enough supplies. Almost there. So now we go over here can you get us online? and we can use a boat to get to this last one. So I just use the back of the boats. I'm working on it. You want to line up where the tire is not at the bottom to be able to climb up there. Here I profiled this block a long time. I, I tried to prevent the this bug from happening. There's a bug here where you just kind of clip through the door. You can also, also prevent it, or at least I think you can prevent it by just aiming your gun before you use it. So what happens with that bug is you can clip through the door and we're trying to exit this into the bunker. It doesn't allow you to go through. That that happens. Home sweet home. Just go here and just skip having to go toward the computer in the middle. You don't need to do that. So we're running up the stairs, make sure you pick up the blackout. And while running here, make sure, I mean, you could use the car on demand app to spawn a bike, the Kotachi. Want to use it for this drive to go to the CTOS control center and the wards. And when going here, make sure to hack the bridge as fast as possible because the boats can actually block and prevent you from using the bridge like that. So that happens, go back here and try again. Yeah, these boats are random, then don't always do that. Usually aren't a problem, but lately they have been giving me a lot of trouble. Don't know why. You can also try killing the people driving the boats to prevent that from happening. So for this control center, I'm going to be doing, you could just do the entire mission completely from the bike. Again, no need to drive into the mission area. Just use cameras. Make sure you're not too close to the gate when you're approaching this place. And make sure to hack the correct cameras. And I hacked, hacked 
the explosion here to stop this guard. Then hack the access code. Then hack his camera. And make sure not to hack this forklift. So here, just press two times this note. And it's easy enough. Like that. So, just drive outside the escape circle. And this next mission is about how? around the corner. So we're gonna create another cash run. So this mission has one of the new strats is one of the hardest strats in the game, so I'm not gonna do that. It involves using a bike, so instead of that, I'm going to do Tap into their network. on foot strats. Which is just shoot, shoot a few people with silence pistol. Pick up this electronic parts. And just run across to each terminal to activate them. So the hardest ride on this mission involves driving a bike to each of these terminals. It's hard because you need to know how to deal with the enemies, making sure they don't attack you. And you also need to know how to control the bike well. Once you're more experienced with bike driving in this game, you can do that strat instead. So for those snipers up there, you might need to kill them if they see you. When you're approaching the terminal there in the middle, you can hack the explosion or just shoot them with the science pistol. Almost there. I'm thinking Chicago is seriously underestimating the Viceroy's. These guys know what they're doing. So things just got more complicated. Yeah. Now I'm worried about what we'll find inside. All right, back to the bunker. We'll tap in and see what Rossi Fremont's hiding. So now I go straight and to the right. I want to go to the bar where later mission will happen at. Because we're going to make a cash run there. After this mission ends. Yep. Now I'm gonna try to do some dialogue skips. You'll be able to peek into Rossi Freeman now. Thank you for all of this. Hey, I can't resist a good adventure. So I guess we're done. No. I'm just getting started. I need to get in there, find some answers, and get my sister back. And once you get your answers, what then? Then I find out who did this, and I make sure they answer for it. Every single person involved in Lena's death. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Okay, I'll see you soon. So while we have time for this mission ends, we can also rob this place. Some money. <laughs> then at the mission ends, like I said, gonna create the cash run. Again, gonna use the map, fast travel, back to the bunker. This is where the next mission is gonna be.
So this mission is just a lot of hacking puzzles and hacking cameras. Immediately hack the elevator door. Then these two guys always have something to hack. To just hack them. And then for this, you want to hack the elevator door before you hack the camera inside. And after this elevator here, there's a strat. We want to hack the guy in the, the hallway there. You want to hack him so that he can hack his camera. The melee go to his camera to terminal. Like that. So I'm also going to show the backup strat. If you can't hack him. Immediately, so... You have to wait a little bit to hack the terminal. After you, after that, you hack his camera. I don't see an easy way in. Get the fuck down. Get over there. Alright, alright, okay. Alright, alright. Alright. This is fitting. You ain't got time for this shit. I ain't got time for her. Damn, Fuck that bitch. You done this before. I admit nothing. This is how you would practice the hacking puzzles like this. So if you feel that, you can just put the right and do that instead. So almost to the in Skibu cutscene. Everything else over here is yours. Well, fuck you, fuck you. Fucking trying to change me. I ain't got shit except my word in my balls, nigga. Fuck that. You got this? Yeah, boy. And this is in Skibu cutscene. About three and a half minutes. There's a card reader on it. Shit. So while we're in this cutscene, uh, we're gonna take a quick break, uh, just so that everybody can, you know, get up, stretch, get some water, do anything they need to do. Uh, before we go to the break, just a few reminders for everybody. Uh, if you're ever on YouTube watching this, so anytime tomorrow or on, uh, you can go to twitch.tv slash gamesonquick if you're interested in any of our live content. Uh, that starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, your subs, gift subs at Prime Gaming Subs and Bits really do help support all of our weekly content. If you enjoy uh, learning any of these tutorials that you've seen, if you enjoyed the first step before us or any of our other weekly shows, uh, feel free to support us through any of those ways. It'll help us keep making these shows. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll see you in uh, just a few minutes here for the rest of the tutorial. Business. Yeah, Mr. Quinn's on speaker. Business. Quinn. I put you in charge of merchandise and security. Now I find you still on my guest list. I won't be placed, Mr. Iraq. Yo, chill. That ain't how it went down. See, I think you're confused. This is a business collaboration. Your guests are my guests. Listen, we'll talk this out at the auction. Don't be a stoke, Mr. Iraq. Where I grew up, we shot them between the eyes. Fucking leprechaun can suck my lucky charm. This fuck's a stoat. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's a weasel, man. <laughs> weasel! <laughs>
else. I don't see how you could get on the compound. Never mind near that room. Even the security locks on the doors are encrypted. That fat kid, Bedbud, he's gonna go in for me. Just like that. And why should he help us? I'm betting he's one mistake away from a bullet to the head. So when he makes that mistake, I'll be recording. Nothing like blackmail to change someone's tune. I normally don't have to hack this to exit this place, but since they're a little out safe inside the, the building there, I have we're, to do that. Uh, we're... This is getting complicated. Oh, we're not. I can keep Damien focused on that hard drive. I can find. We can come back and. Uh... I know Damien. Now, now that the cutscene's done, we can come back anytime. So. Right now. Okay. So. Tobias. Get the you are the vigilante. That's a dangerous So now we just take a yeah, the vehicle here and gonna switch to the faster vehicle by this bridge here. can also spawn a bike to drive to this next mission, but I think it's faster to do this instead. And you could normally just reach this next mission before the dialogue finishes. So, so I think what happened is a really little owl save there inside the building during the mission. Actually made the mission show up earlier, but it doesn't skip the dialogue that allows for the mission to show up, and we still have to listen to phone calls and stuff. So it's actually not faster to just fast travel there, or using a cash run or something. Rossi Fremont, some kind of small server. So there's a bug here where Bedbug can die as it's dropping to the floor. So I go up to this fence to, before I hack this terminal. You can also lower the FPS to a 30 or something like that. Or shoot around the house that prevents the bug from happening. So you want to practice this, okay, practice this hacking puzzle, you just exit out like that to repeat the hacking puzzle. So after you install the tracker on his phone, still gotta wait for the dialogue here. Yeah, I got 
gotta go, Grandma. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. Even though you're a damn fool. So now just make sure not tail bit back, not to scare him by shooting a gun or something. Now go into the skills menu to get the IED skills. We're gonna need them for the next mission and for some missions later in the run. And I get inside this car, but don't drive in it. That will scare bit back. Then get in this bike and. You want to go and do some robberies while there's time. Why are we waiting for a bed back to drive to his location? So we wrap this door and try not to lose bed back. There's also a new stand in this area that you can rob. So this mission is where I do the big glitch. That's the reason why we need patch 1.04. So we don't damn man is expecting trouble. I drive into this place and I do this with the bike. Kill the bike and kill this guy quickly. Or making sure not to lose Bedbug. So we need a lure for this glitch. So we can create, create a lure. And throw it in this location. And you want to access the camera and want to look at over here in this spot. Wait till the prop comes up where it stays close to record pet buck until you go here. And that seems to manipulate pet buck to take a shortcut to this guy. Saving a few seconds. For some reason it doesn't work if you really all save so you have to do it from the beginning of the mission. So, this mission, make sure you know the cameras and stuff. How to hack all of them. So I just hacked the cameras to get a system key there while I was waiting for dialogue. And make sure on this mission to be looking at bedback when he, when he starts talking to someone. Otherwise, he doesn't start the dialogue. So there, uh, the lure I acted when he says, brother, may I? So wait till he finishes dialogue and for the guys on the map, mini map to disappear before you shoot this guy. And that should activate the glitch, but if it doesn't, then kill this guy or maybe a couple more guys. And that makes Rabbits start call talking to you. I skipped having to wait for Bedbug to walk over there over there. And for you have to deal with Rabbit. Says three to four minutes. So there I just go up to Bedbug to make him detect me first. That removes a countdown timer. So that allows me to drive away from the mission. Uh, I want to start driving to the next mission. So to explain why this glitch works, how and why this glitch works, uh, I drove in the area early to spawn some guys, and I killed a guy, 
and waited until these guys despawned before I killed another guy. That seems to trick the game into thinking that all the enemies have been killed in the area, so it makes rapid call me because the same thing happens if you do kill all the enemies in the area. So here you don't, don't need to pick up any IEDs. Oh. Robberies are for getting a bike when we need to buy it because it's uh, one of the fastest bikes in the game. We need to buy the Cyanar bike that costs ten thousand dollars and could use it to drive to a few missions and during last mission. It's abandoned. They must keep security cameras running. Death, you didn't blow yourself up. <laughs> Not yet. Just trying to figure out where these guys meet so I can have some surprises waiting for them. Ooh, booby traps fun. So I'll save there, that moves one minute off the countdown timer. Save him as a minute. And here, I want to place these IEDs in positions where I want to spawn camp these guys. So when they spawn, they just die automatically. I'll place two IDs here to make sure kills an enforcer. Make sure to pick up this electronic part. So if you did all that correctly, you should be able to spawn cut these guys. And it should die when they spawn. Let's just wait for this SCV to get close before I shoot them. And also kill these two guys. We'll all save there to spawn this car and save save some time. So here I make sure to get inside the car immediately after you hack the phone and back into this guy. That skips the chase and cutscene. Oh, it's not faster to switch to a bike there. It's faster to stay inside this car to first drive, even though it's a long drive. It is easier though to drive a bike in my opinion. You don't have to deal with the larger body of the car. Bike is much easier to maneuver around and much better handling. So just drive here and make sure you're not going too fast when you're approaching Bedbug so that you don't fail the mission. Now I need to scare him over to my side. 
a little blackmail threat should convince him to help me. I went back here to try to see if there was any bikes, but didn't spawn. And if you have time, you can use the ATM here while waiting for a bed bug. And here, make sure not to go drive the vehicle too close to the bed bug or the guys. Just get off on foot to call this guy, call him. And be prepared to do a non dial skip. Just another play. What is this? Come on, man. I'm So here now I'm gonna be staying far away that actually skips their dialogue. These guys dialogue while they're talking. And when you see them run away you can go close over here to hack the terminal. Hey, for some reason this game, if you go too far out, out of the range of the voice, it can skip the dialogue of the talking person. So now I head towards the pawn shop to buy some supplies while we have some time before the next mission. Hi. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Why you keep calling me, man? You're gonna get me killed! Tell me how to get close to Iraq. Uh, uh, you ain't getting so I have enough money for the sign. No, it's cost $10,000. It's the fastest back in the game. That's what we need to do the robberies for and the money. What kind of auction? Like, like, uh, not your normal kind of auction. Uh, invite only. So get me an invite. Who do you think I am? All right. So if you get to this, this next mission quick enough, you can also do dialogue skips here, but since I'm too slow, couldn't do any. How did it go? Did it And this mission has us, just has a lot of waiting around. Nothing you can do to speed it up. Just gotta wait for these guys to exchange the briefcase. I can also skip some dialogue with Aiden, but it doesn't save any time. So while we're waiting around, we can just profile some guys, try to see if we can get some money or system keys. Money if we couldn't get enough money yet for the Sayonara or system keys for blackouts and chan comps. Do you see the case? I do, it's moving. Wait, I can't believe it. What? Quinn's guys are pulling some old school gangster shit. The briefcase is one. Really? Do those actually work? Oh, Never God. seen one of these. Why are they doing this? They fool CTOS. Anybody watching through a monitor would see every swap. They're trying to confuse the detection software. Interesting. So go over here with bikes just to see if there's a, a sign or response. And if I swap the bike over there out, I can maybe make a sign or a spawn. Sorry. 
Wow, really? Yeah, whatever you do, don't shoot those guys. Okay. Oh, it just failed the mission. I got a bike here. I'm gonna follow. Anyway, yeah, following his boat, make sure not to go too far from the boat because you want to follow them as closely as possible. Because if you go too far from the boat, it would just slow down. That's got to be it. Says it's been closed to the public since the 80s. So this is what you need a bridge skill for, only for this bridge. You want to hack it so that you can drive the boat, ac the bike across. I mean, and you can only hack this bridge while moving, for some reason. So here, make sure these guys don't detect you. Just shoot these first two guys with the science pistol. Don't do it for the guy over there. And pick up this unstable chemical component. Make the proximity ID. And you can get the system key while waiting for this guy. For this guy to play it safe, you can just use a takedown instead of shoot him in the head. Then go over here, making. I mean, you can get the proximity ID. And you do want this guy to shoot you while you're using the briefcase because that skips the animation. There we go. I'm sending the guest list from the case. Whatever this auction is, let's not take the chances. So now I just drive to the next CTOS control center, which is my mouse CTOS. I don't think so. Any Europeans? Nicholas Crispin. 32 years old. ex bath American. Haven't been back in 12 years. Since there's a lot of dialogue at the end of this mission, we could do some dialogue skips with the bike. This man is sick. And filthy rich, too. Will anyone miss him? What do you mean, miss him? Clara, if I'm stealing his identity, I can't... Oh. No, I guess not. My sister's missing, Clara. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her. No. I'm fine. Nobody's going to miss this dog. This is a good match. He's supposed to pick up his car at the dealership. All right. I'll meet him there. Damn! So you want to stay over here before the mission spawns? Then shoot this guy in the head. And just you can just stay on the bike and hack some cameras to do the rest of this mission. 
pretty easy. Get hack this explosion to distract this guard to be able to hack the shutters and hack this terminal. And here you might have to slow down because you want to make a cash run here for one of the last Act 4 missions. Then we need to make another cash run at this location. That will be for another act for mission. enough we can get a system key from one of these guys that place is too exposed better go in quietly you must have a schedule or something there's a system key there but you don't need to get it you can skip it So go over here and you can shoot this guy from this place. And make sure to hack his phone before driving off. If these guys call for reinforcements, you can use the jam comp to cancel the call. Crispin was on his way to pick up something called the Poppy Special. So now it tells us to go to this club, so I'm just gonna drive there before it tells me a location. Because I know where the club is gonna be. Looks like it's a gentleman's fish club. Underground, of course. So the Poppy Special is a woman. That fits the profile Quinn had on Crispin. I doubt Poppy would have survived the meeting. What kind of auction is this? I think we both know the answer to that. We're going to the club now. Crispin's in. Yeah, you reach this club quick enough, you can do some dialogue skip like that. And pick up the electronic parts. And then. Then you can get some skills. Blast resistance, demolitionist. Need the blast resistance to do some dialogue skips. By using explosives to knock yourself to the ground. Very good, Mr. Chris. And demolition is so that we can carry some more explosives. We'll hang on, Danny. You're useful for some Act 3 missions. Mr. Crispin, right this way, please. What happened to the guards assigned to you, sir? They couldn't keep up. There are some people you can hack in this place. You can have some system keys if you get lucky enough. 
So you can't really speed this part up. Kind of forced into a slow walk. Okay, you can't skip these short cutscenes here either. We hope you'll come back again. So immediately go to his car and then try to do some dialogue skips. Yes, okay. She'll be there. I'll make sure of it. Maybe Crispin had to die, but at least we can save this girl. That's something, right? I'm not sure we can add. So we want to go back to Brennan Docks. Ask so it was down over there. Don't want to go too close. And then you can spawn the Sinor in that location. So don't restart his mission because you, you cannot skip this. Just find a rack, scan his dog tags, make a clean getaway. I asked for my merchandise. Hey, if you're quick enough, you can get a system key from this guy. Mr. Quinn got your request. Don't worry, she's here. I have to tell you, Mr. Quinn's rules though. All payments must be made in cash or through a secured account. If you want to sample any of the girls before they're open to bidding, you gotta pay a small fee. Premium girls are off limits. Don't want to lower the value if you get me. Yeah. Make sure it's I a get quiet you. night. And unfortunately, I'm forced into slow walk again. This mission. Okay. So I can't really speed this up. Yeah, yeah. Why are the payment already? Being as close to gangbangers gives me a rash. Never mind. Boss will be done with them soon enough. Yeah, exactly like I told Lucky. This is Mr. Crispin. We're taking him to meet Mr. Quinn. They won't bring all the merchandise on stage at once. It's on my schedule for private show. Each one of them is going to tag with a number. It keeps things efficient. A few guests prefer to watch the monitor. I was told you want to see the stage. How else can I get a full appreciation of what you guys do? Step aside. Mr. Quinn's waiting. Mr. Quinn is up there with that rat. All clear around Open back. Another bit received. Yo, I just got work for the boss. Some of Quinn's guys got popped. Something ain't right. He wants it to double check open. all the IDs. On Some guys keep comes wondering in. where they're not supposed Trip to. Otherwise, it's clear. Final call on this bid. Radio chatter Final call. Keep an eye on the case. Sold. Moving on to the next item on your tablet. All due respect, it's your man gonna miss it. Shit all risk now. Extra and this is another short and skippable cutscene. Gotta wait till I can hack his dark tech. Relax. Any other bids, Do what you have to do. Don't make a service. My men are stretched. 
Your men are expendable, Mr. Right? Open to raid. Business must proceed. In the meantime, Final call on the find day. out who killed my men. Final call. That's all. Sold. Mr. Chris. On to the next item on your tablets. Would you excuse me? Of course. Next time you're meeting, I, I overheard them talking about Chris. And here, make sure to move as quickly on foot as possible. Can skip this first guy. And you can skip the second guy here, but there's much more consistent to take him out. And once you reach this area, it doesn't matter if they detect you, you won't fail the mission. go over here to trigger the cutscene and I don't press anything here sometimes you can actually die after this this cutscene ends so I do but I don't press anything to prevent that from happening I get terminal and I kill those guys up there Then activate the blackouts. That should uh, allow you to skip these enemies. The hell was that? Time to fuck this guy up. And you can just run past all these enemies by hacking this garage door, then hacking this forklift. You can kill the guy, the left sniper there, if you want to get a sniper rifle, but you don't need it. So I'm going to drive outside this escape circle, and I do is a telescope. Then, well, actually, never mind. I'm not gonna do a strat. So instead of doing that, you can drive to the train station. So you can use the focus to prevent the dialogue from interrupting you there. So you can use the cash run. I'll keep an eye out for these guys if I can through the profiler. Then I can expose them for what they've done here. And shut down this way. This is where next mission is going to be, so try to find a bike if you, there is a bike. And you can also do some dialogue skips if you get here quickly enough. It's going to be fine, really. I was worried Jax would do this. He's not a kid that sits still. He's got a lot of his uncle in him. I'm searching for his mother. Where would he go? And we're going to use some proximity IDs on this mission, so make sure to switch them. So, place one here. And another one here. And kind of use the crosswalk at the leaves on the ground to see where to place them. Then run over here and start shooting these guys. He 
do want those guys to see it first, so let this guy see it first. That'll make the enemies go to you so that you can start shooting at them. Yeah, you place these proximity eyes in the correct spot. These vehicles will just drive over them during a cutscene and they will just blow up. And make sure to break up this unstable. Then now we're gonna use the cash run to teleport to planning a bug. Just stand over here for the next to the trash can. And you wait until this Save icon shows up before you restart mission. And go over here to try again a bike. So go do a bike strat here. So what I'm gonna do over in this area is drive in this area with the bike and try to pretty much ignore the enemies so slow down before you enter this place like that and do that so I'm also going to show what happens if you get a bike in the other spot setting the mission somebody's asking uh, for that last mission with the uh, explosives you plant for the cars can random NPCs uh, like screw with that or anything and trigger them so for those mines uh, in those loca in th those locations no the NPCs don't walk over there okay. so they cannot cannot so if we get back in this mission at the location I just went to this second guy at the end. Never mind, I'll do this again. So the second guy on the left will be in a different spot if you take a bike over there in the, that area for some reason. So again you slow down to avoid this guy and you have to wait a little bit before driving past this guy and activate the, the phone here that prevents this trigger here from stopping you. Okay, it allows you to just keep driving the bike and it allows you to do the dialogue skip, which I just did. If I get caught, he trusts you. You made sure of that. What's on Iraq's floor? I don't know, man. Rooms? There's one room I racked on that nobody inside. You're going in today. Oh, no way. I can't. Listen. It's got some security door. You're covering. Just get your phone near it. 
This mission is just gonna guide Bit Buck to the end. Pretty much. I'm not a cop. So here, make sure to profile this guy so that you're able to see him through the wall. Just listen to what I say and move when I tell you. And then watch out for you. And wait for this guy to walk past before safety boost Bit Buck. So it moves over there, act the attract, and move, move him over here. And just do this. Pretty much just be ready to hack, hack these terminals. And there's a hacking puzzle here. It's complicated. We got plenty of time. The rack was involved in something that hurt my family. I want answers. That ain't so complicated. Computers through there. Jesus, that's some serious hardware. There, get close. Shit. What? Just stay there. Wait, so just gotta wait for the shortcut scene. So after you skip this cutscene, make sure not to be holding forward or and sprint at the same time because you can actually just run past the door and that will prevent the guys outside from spawning so you have to go back to the door to trigger it so now just use the same bike that you drove here with and you can just drive outside of the escape circle And then do some dialogue skips again. Tell me you got it was only a partial download, but I definitely got something. It looks like this computer is full of blackmail on everybody. Just listen to these fuller names. Police Chief Sex Tape, Bloom CEO Bribe, CDOS Breaches. Correct. Not yet. I'm trying. Is there a folder for the Merlot? Merlot. Yeah, there is. Good. So switch to the IEDs and then use the map for fast travel back to the bunker. I want to place the ID down and face this way. What it does is this thing. Then explore the ID, you should be able to skip the dialogue. Then spawn the Sayonara. I want to use it to drive during this next version. And you can go here to hack the bridge so that you don't have to hack it later when you're trying to drive over there. So make sure not to park this bike right next to the this container. Otherwise, it will just despawn when you exit out. Oh, 
Okay. Everyone has history online. We start there. We get Kenny's last known point and work backwards. He's been gone over a year. This could take a while. There. He's covered his tracks very well, but he's bounced through one location a few times. So we trace it back and we find his location? In theory, yes. You need to reach that point and connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. And we'll have Kenny. So it wouldn't be safe there, just slow down a little bit before going onto the bridge in case you don't want to fall into the water. Because then you'll lose the bike and have to drive there with the car instead. What's his story? He's a bloom whistleblower or a cyber terrorist. Depends on who you ask. Delivered his message by blacking out most of New York State. I remember that. 2003. Not just New York, that was mostly Northeast. Killed a couple of people. He killed 11 people. So go over to this location and trigger the owl safe. Then reload the last owl safe that will skip some dialogue. So go up over here, shoot this guy once, make sure he detects me. Then run over here and then kill everyone. I tried to tell us get with the green launcher there, but it didn't work. Wow. Old school shit. No wonder good cops can't shut the club down. Clara, it's online. Make sure to pick up these components and stuff then right now you just have to kill everyone until it reaches 100% The only guys you need to worry about are the, guy, the guys with rifles. Those are the guys that will kill you. And run away from the grenades. So they blew up the canisters that I need to use for a trick here. That means they're gonna have to reload the all safe. When it comes up. And there's an ammo back here you can use to restock ammo. So pretty much just kill them until there's two left. And reach 100% you can start killing them. It's done. Pony. Pony. The best you could come 
come up with right. Better wipe the hard drive. Blow up the fence and stuff over there so I can see. Then shoot this caster and immediately after that use the PC. So that cancels the animation. Aiden is using the PC, allows you to run over over here. They run right next to this column here. Where I'm going to use the grenade launcher to kill this guy. And you want to kinda of aim at the pole. If he's running away, you aim about there. If he's looking towards you, you can aim further down to kill the guy. So doing this skips the entire chase and saves some, skips some dialogue too. So want to use the cash run that you created on the way to the graveyards and gonna use that to teleport closer to Act 3. And then get a bike in the parking lot. If there isn't a bike there, you can use the car on the man app to spawn a bike. When you find Ray Kenny, what do you have to offer him? We've seen what happens when we dig. If he helps us decrypt those files, he's exposed. I'll find something. There's a reason he's hiding. Here. He turned against Bloom. Exposed their abuse. I can work with that. You're going to threaten him? No. The whistleblower wants justice. He may be looking for a cause. I can definitely give him one. So you want to drive the bike over here, then aim towards that tree, and drive straight into the water. Want to use this boat? This boat is always here. And I'm gonna use it to drive to the island there to do Pony CTOS. I'll need network access. I'll hack the Pony Control Center. Then I'm good to go. Can't get the system key there, but waste a little bit of time. So just use that camera, camera there to hack the access code. Then go back to Aiden to do this hacking puzzle. Now I'm going to drive towards those docks and then I'm going to the I'll save here. You can skip this map cussing every time at the right time, but All right. it's some very tight timing. So immediately after the I'll save, you can Go into the cash run menu, then make a cash run in this location. So I want to climb this fence and hack this PC. Then immediately reload all save, that skips a little bit of waiting. There's a system key there always, so get that. Someone around here received the reset code. Can I help you? What is this? 
So just profile these two guys. For profile this guy, you want to run over here. And then get this bike. Then go over here. To shoot that fence and the pole so that you can just be able to see this PC from there. So I park the bike next to this rock and get on top of uh, top of it and try run along this fence. Go over here. That skips the entire puzzle that you have to do here. Then you can use just use the grenade launcher, blow up that fence. Then get the system key and hack this to open the doors. So you can skip this map cutscene too, but it's like frame perfect. So I'll save there to skip the dialogue there. And it saves a minute and teleports you outside to the bike. Stand out like my grandmother's bloomers on a clothesline. And this is where we do a drinking game. There you go. See, you found your groove. I gotta go wire my horse. skip his cutscene. So I just gotta wait for a little bit. Hello Ray. I said keep your voice down. So make sure to pick up the system key and electronic parts and two two proximity IDs there. 
And also the sniper rifle if you don't have it. So this mission, you can also go far away to skip some dialogue. I messed that one up, though. I'm supposed to be able to skip that one. So instead, for this mission, yeah. After you skip the dialogue, go up to T-Bone to trigger the dialogue again. This dialogue, go to the bridge. Then go hack these sculptures. And now I'm gonna drive off somewhere. I'll wait for this. Wait till say if you blew my arm off before. Driving past the bridge. The then go over here. Want to go scan this body because that skips a uh, media broadcast after this mission. You want me to break so you don't want to skip too much dialogue here. Otherwise, you want you have to wait longer. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer because I think I skipped too much dialogue. Normally you can leave the area when he says swing by the gas station. But they're still on me. Oh crap! Well, take them out. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I never expected you to actually get the damn truck. If you want the truck, you're gonna have to do better than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bring them up next to one of the sculptures. We'll have a little round of art appreciation. Where'd he go? Spread out. So you don't want to lose these guys. You don't want the escape circle. You want because you want to create the cash run after the mission in a close location to this place. So you want to pull these guys up with a grenade launcher instead of driving away. Interesting. Don't know why I didn't have to kill that guy. So you want to make a cash run about here? Gonna use that cash run to teleport to a later mission, Act 3. The bark has been making noise. What kind of noise? It's online. Some people have noticed. Script kiddies mostly. Nothing to worry about. I'll make sure they stay out. We've been probed a few times. Probed? <laughs> there is only one that worries me. His name is Default, and he's very good. I'll watch him. I mean, 
And we're going to make another cash run about here. That'll also be for a later mission, Act 3. That'll be for the future is in bloom. So, I'm following this helicopter on this route. I make sure not to go ahead of the helicopter. Because you want to be in position after you tail it to be able to profile the guys at the trailer park. So just make sure you have your green launcher equipped and IEDs. IEDs will be for the next mission after this one. So basically, the chopper is going to lead us to the security chief. And Bingo was her name. Just get off the back and hack the heli's camera and cameras over here, hack the system key. One of them's the security chief. Use cameras to profile this security chief. Then use the heli to profile this guy. Want to use the green launcher to blow up the fence. That will give you enough time to. I mean, that will give you the vision to shoot this guy and hack the hell again. Get the system key. And this guy's walking past. Should be able to blow him up if you're quick enough, but. I'm going to show the backup strats too. So if that doesn't work, you can do this instead. This guy should walk by and should be able to use this to, to kill this guy. Like that. That's the backup strat. So, went out here to finish the mission. And immediately going to get the cash run. Teleport back to this location using the one we created earlier.
This mission, I'm gonna go for the bike over there. I'm gonna use it to drive in front of this convoy, and that should make it stop. Lots of opportunities for me. Then make sure you have the grenade launcher and ID IEDs equipped. Want to throw an ID at the truck, then shoot the green launcher there. That will trigger a double explosion to kill the enforcer. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hey, somebody's shooting. Get the cops off. Can you hear me? I need you to stay on the line. Then use the cash run to teleport to this mission. That will also cancel the call from the, the pedestrian there. So you want to run over here, trigger the owl save, then reload the checkpoint. That will tell that will teleport you over here. Skip some driving. And for some reason, you can just use a grenade launcher on this mission. Does no you get not get spotted? You can just use a grenade launcher. Doesn't fail the mission. And this guy is attracted by the green launcher explosion and just hack his camera as he's walking there to profile the terminal. And after I hack each terminal, I reload all safe. Teleport closer to the middle. Make sure to not to avoid ignore this guy. Shouldn't take me long. Once you've dropped the spyware in, it'll launch a virus. That'll scan the system for my data and wipe it all. And they won't detect the spyware? Nope. I'll be able to watch them, but. <laughs> no this part is uh, unskippable, too. Gotta wait for this guy to walk past. Then you can hack his camera. And he walks into the room where you have to listen to some more unskippable dialogue. The name's wiped and the spyware's in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting pings already. Good job. Now get out of there. In a sec, a name came up on the server. Someone I know is in the building. I'm gonna check it out. Don't screw around, Aiden. These guys ain't country yokels. I'll be there soon. I like to just hack the camera on the right there. You can also hack this camera on the left. Kenny is right here. 
So switch to the grenades here if you have some. Alarm has been tripped. Search the area. Damn it. And you should be able to take that guy out. So that he doesn't shoot you. We need Rain Kenny. Gotta get him out of this. So here I go into the phone menu. And normally you're not supposed to be able to, to use cash runs during missions, but for this one in between this one is actually in between the missions, so you can actually skip the driving here. So I'll just go over here. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to See for the portfolio pop up. Just run over there. And reload. I'll oh, save. That skips the drive for that mission. So go halfway up the stairs. Then activate the trap. Then start killing these guys. I'm holding you responsible. That's fair. We need to get moving. Shit. Shit. I'm gonna have to blow the whole place up. I need to arm. Some so the only traps for freeze here, in my opinion, are the electric traps because they're insta kill. Shame. Oh well, let's kick it, man. Then place some IDs around Follow this me. area to spawn camp some enemies that will spawn. Bombs in place, but it ain't ready. The detonator needs a few seconds to reach its charge. I need to make sure they can't deactivate them. Then pick up the unstable chemical co component here. You got earphones? What? Exactly. You need some appropriate music for the occasion, my man. All right, that's it. That's to do their job. Another minute. I need another then you use your grenade to kill, to kill these guys and activate the electric electric traps. There's a more difficult strat to use the bike, but not gonna show that. Detonators only need a few seconds. If we want fireworks, we gotta hold one second. Can't let them move in yet. Hold them off. Again, place some more proximity IDs to spawn camp some enemies. Then use the free launcher on this car. Then activate the trap. That should kill everyone. Sometimes there might be some more enemies that you have to shoot. So run over here. To probably want to kill the sniper first. Then the rest of the enemies. Again, the focus 
use it to help you aim better, but you can also use it to help you see where the enemies are, if they're hiding behind something. So a little all safe here also to teleport you closer to the boat. So you want to enter the full menu and stay in the full menu when you before you enter the boat. That allows you to enter and exit the boat at will. Not to get attached to things anymore, because I'm used to losing them. Yeah, I need to learn that. I don't let go very well. So go over there, do that, exit the boat. That don't mean I'm not grateful. Despite that setback. Then you want to run over here to the bike. Now it's back to Shot Town. They could do some more dialogue skips. You got a place for me to stay, man? Uh, we're not the bunker. <laughs> well, that'll do it. I can't wait to pick apart these files of yours to see what's caused all this hullabaloo. That you got nothing to worry about. You did me a solid. Now it's my turn. Well, normally not supposed to be able to do anything here, but you can just exit the boat with the full menu. Again, I'm going to use the focus to cash run strat. Well, I got my little band of misfits. Clara's on monitors, t -bone Didn't work because I think I activated too late. Jordy? Well, Jordy does what Jordy does. It's time to see what Irak's been protecting. If I did that correctly, I would have been able to use the cash run before his dialogue. Where the hell have you been? Honey. Uh, my condolences. So, since this mission is night, I'm gonna use a blackout just to run past the enemies. There's a computer inside that... No, 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 it's okay. I really don't care. I was just trying to make some small talk. When we trigger the dialogue, you can go back here. And you can take this enforcer out. The one to get his shotgun. Gonna use that for the rooftop fight at the end of this mission. If you can cut power to that door, it's gonna default to the base code for about half a second. And you know the base code? Yep. Hey. I wrote the damn algorithm. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, I got this guy. Okay, go into the phone menu. That prevents this trigger here from stopping you. Just use the grenade launcher to kill these guys in the elevator. You can activate a blackout here, there to run past these enemies. And for this enforcer, aim about over there. Make sure you won't pass when that thing is exploding, otherwise you might die. And you can pick up his U100 if you don't have one yet. Just kill those guys because you don't want them to sh be shooting at you. Okay. 
Okay, Clara, I'm in. You should start receiving everything now. I see it. It's all coming in. T-Bone's going to start decrypting it as soon as we have it all. That's a pretty big download. All of this is Iraq's leverage, his blackmail. He's been collecting this for a long time. There. That's everything. Hurry back, Aiden. T-Bone's decrypting it now. I'm on my way. Now I'm gonna choose to try to do some dialogue skips with a grenade. I wanna be king in a tiny castle. Did you roll? So that can ha also happen too. If not careful enough, I guess. Even though I have the explosion resistance, it can still kill you for some reason. I wanna be king in a tiny castle. So maybe don't do that. Hey, you want to be safe? And you're lucky Quinn's lap dog. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah! Yeah, I see your type of folk, man. Self-righteous motherfuckers. I tried to encounter people off the battlefield. Now, I'll make sure you get back to your family. Maybe one piece at a time, huh? And when I'm done, they're next on my list. <laughs> what you got, wife and kids, brothers and sisters? So just place some IDs there to spawn camp these enemies. And wait in this spot. Enemies will spawn in either one of those two spots. And we'll just kill them as soon as they spawn. Should have killed that guy, but didn't explode for some reason. I think we're friends. What having a chat? I'll take every file you have. All of your hard work, gone. There were lots of slick hotel, bunch of rich white motherfuckers just waiting to pay you. You take it from me. So place IDs in those two spots and right around here with the ATSG shotgun that you got from the Forcer and the ID. I'm gonna use this ID for a dialogue skip after you kill this guys. Just focus and headshot the enforcer while he's on the ground. And focus and shoot the Iraq with a shotgun as well as well. Iraq was protecting a tinderbox of blackmail. But he was after something bigger. He wanted the video from the Merlot job. Okay, that didn't work. Well, I'm gonna have to do the fighting again. Mm. <laughs> oh, so you wanna fuck with my family, huh? Break into my house? Try to steal my shit, huh? Do you know who I am? Do you? I wanna be king in a tiny castle. See your role. And you're lucky Quinn's lapdog. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. I think I put the ID in the wrong spot there. That's why. So yeah, if you die here, you're gonna have to do the entire fight all over again. Your 
but the dollar will skip at the end. It saves like 20 seconds or so. Take every file you have. All of your hard work, gone. We're lots of slick hotel. Bunch of rich white motherfuckers just waiting to pay up. So you take it from me? Officially, someone's gonna take it from you too. The secrets get passed around. And all sorts of people are going to die for the secrets. That's the curse of power. Not us making a deal. You picked the fight, Pierce. Let's play it out. I got my eyes on you, motherfucker. I'm gonna end you. Hopefully it works this time. Iraq was protecting a tinderbox of blackmail. But he was after something bigger. He wanted the video from the Merlot job. He never did find it. Oh. There you go. That's the dialog skip. For some reason that Dallas good works normally doesn't work if Aiden is talking to himself. But it works for that that one. If you knock him to the ground. So again for this mission you, you just fast roll back using the map. And this is another hacky mission. Just hacking puzzles. All right, let's do this. So that the second and third hacking puzzle are the same. The third hacking puzzle just has the spinning things. to go to in plain sight. Oh, shit. So after restarting the mission, you want to shoot. That will make the cops come after you faster. And you want to get a bike over here. And it was spawned in two different locations. And you can see it from over here. This one, if it spawns in this location, you can see it from over there. And you kind of shoot the green launcher somewhere over here. 
And since this mission is at night, you can just use the blackout to escape. Like that. So now I'm going to show the other location. Shit, better not hang around. Oh my god, it's him! Oh shit, that's the guy! They're looking for him on the surface. 911, please state the nature of your emergency. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So for this other location, I'm gonna drive right next to the stairs, get off, all 70, over 70 meters away, and shoot the green launcher like that. Then activate the blackout to escape. Then pretty much just drive out of the escape circle. Pretty easy mission. Yeah, this is where our next mission is going to be. Don't let them catch you, my boy. That wouldn't be good for Sis now, would it? I made some blurs because I'm uh, going to use some for this next, this, this, I mean, this next mission. So I'm going to use those lures I'm going to place on the sides of uh, T-Bone's car, on the door specifically. That will block him and prevent him from entering the car. And that will make an owl safe appear earlier than normal for some reason. So then make sure to equip the back out and just spam and move over there, then exit out and activate the blackout. That will allow them to just get past everyone. And when you see the blackout, I mean when you see the I'll save, just for the I'll save there. And try to get a bike over here, one doesn't spawn, get this car instead. Yeah, she's got access. And my guess, your target numero uno. Search to the proximity ID and green launcher if you have one. The proximity ID.
And if you kill those guys quick enough, for some reason, the time between you killing them and this mission complete can sometimes appear faster than normal. But I wasn't able to do that. So now I just hacked this bouncer's phone to get inside the club. And I'm gonna try to do a door strat to hack the camera through the door. See if I can do it like that. That skips having to wait for the door to open. And just profile these guys first before you wait for the objective to show up. Because if you hack them too early, you have to hack another person. That's why I wait to hack them. So make sure to pick up the blackout before you exit. So you jump over the railing there, you can kind of do that shortcut and reload the auto save there that makes this upcoming strat more consistent and allows for a strat in the next mission. So I run over here and I spam the hacky. So spam the hacky there, activates the blockers, which stops this car and skips the, skips the entire chase, pretty much. Now I try to flip his car. Flipping his car forces him out of the vehicle and this gets a lot of dialogue too. Please tell me we got it all. As far as I can tell, at least whatever your nut job buddy might want. And that smiling woman, any video footage that fits? No, man. At least not that I can see. You sure it was on Iraq's server? But he was so just give some more dialogue there. Back to Red and Docks. This is where our next mission is gonna be. I thought you wanna know. I've never seen a contract with more zeros on it than yours. They want you bad, pal. That's nothing. No, no. Trust me on that. And then try to skip these dialogue over here. Pretty short though. You need to leave Chicago while you can because the fixers will catch up to you. It's only a matter of time. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna ignore it, but I thought I'd try.
So yeah, just a lot of waiting for this phone calls and dialogue. Hey, buddy. I got good news. I think I got a future as an audio wizard. You cleaned up the... Have a listen. Grand Walter, the voice of the office, Grand Walter. Nikki's call came from the same place as that little public address. Grand Walter. And for a last dialogue skip, you want to end up right when next to where the mission is going to be. Nikki's there. I know it. Go get her back, brother. And then when to have the blackout equipped for this next strat. Yeah, I'll hack They'll never know I was there. So after waiting for this dialogue, I have to get Nikki out of this place. So Nikki. I can use the blackout to help with that. Where are you? There's men everywhere. The, the guard here, he just... Uh, I don't know what happened. Listen, I know. I'm getting you out. I'm going to stay on the phone. I'm going to walk you out. No. They'll find me. Nikki, there's a gun there. I want you to pick it up. Just in case. Oh, God. This is crazy. Aiden, I don't know guns. <laughs> I shot him. We gotta move. Listen to my voice. I think I killed him. Nikki, listen to me. We're gonna move now. I'm gonna guide you every step. Go, go. Save Make her move first and then hack the forklift to distract this guy. Then move her over here and move over here, exit out. Then activate the blackout. That should work. So just get inside this truck and start driving away. But you don't want to drive too far. It's about over here. Then finish the mission and immediately go into the cashier menu. Teleport to this next place to go to the next mission. And this fast car always spawns over here, over there in the parking spot, so I just take it and use it to try the next mission while doing some dialogue skips. Nah, it's not faster to kill one there. Takes too long. This mission is just all driving, so just drive this route and you can avoid the cops pretty much. Just make sure not to drive into the water. Yeah, for the dialogue skips in this game, by jumping out of the vehicle, I have to time them correctly. And you have to be at certain speed with the vehicle, too. It's complicated. Hopefully there are no vehicles there before you reach this hill. And don't crash in that thing. Otherwise you won't be able to reach the top. And that happens, you can just... Everything I saw 
on the news the go over here instead I did what I had to. Yeah, you just go straight here. Let's trigger this cutscene. So using no turning back cash run. And usually it's a bike that spawns over here. Probably not. Play it anyway. So restart mission here and it's always a bike over here. So this is the fast bike, so slow down a bit and or jump out. Then you can just hack the thermal like that. Clara, what's Yeah, this mission does just has a lot of unskippable cutscenes. So we just have to wait for them. Most of it should also no work for PS4. <laughs> the only thing in question is, uh, don't know if he can Lock do the the glitch on not nah, job for Tyrone. What I know about Lucky. And loading is slower on PS4 oh, as well. Know, after knowing him for so long, I only recently just started calling him Lucky. Where, where was I? Not many know as well as I do how big Lucky's heart is. Generous to our city. And now with his charity stretching around the world, his generosity knows no bounds. I'd like to propose a toast to, to Lucky Quinn. Mayor Rushmore, everyone. Thanks very much, Mayor. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Thank you for helping a great cause. I want out. So just immediately hack the terminal when it's available. And I just like to hack these things inside this place. Because I don't want them to get in the way. So we're almost done. This is the third last mission. Though this is a long mission. Just immediately hack this terminal when it's available and do a hacking puzzle. So switch the gun and get on the bike. And slow down a bit. You don't want to go in there too fast because you can actually 
soft lock it. I go in here too quickly. This guy cannot. Or rather, you have to go back to tr trigger the checkpoint. Find and kill that fuck. If you go too fast, so you can just drive past it. Just use a green launcher for this guy. When it opens. So just some more dialogue here and a short quick time event. You don't take warnings very well. You're a smart man, you should know when you're beaten. <laughs> that hit you ordered. My niece died in that car. Six year old girl. Oh. Is this what all the fuss is about? <clears throat> you must forgive me. You know, so many people come to me with the little problems. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep track sometimes. There are a bunch of enemies here, so you can just use a blackout to run past them. So I'll save here to remove the blackouts because the blackout is active, you cannot hack this thing. And what you don't want to do there when you reload all save is restart the mission because that has happened before to another runner. You restart the mission, you pretty much lose like five minutes or something like that. Here we are. You're a young man, Mr. Pierce. Just walk away. So yeah, for a lot of these re all save restart missions, you know, make sure that you, this room is impenetrable. you know how many times you have to press to go so down to menu there, to catch you, so that you don't accidentally You've been more elusive do something else instead. Everything all right? Your concern is charming, but I'd concentrate on your escape. So, I can't skip some dialogue here, but it doesn't save any time. I can't Still have to wait the same amount of time you think for some reason, even if you skip the dialogue. What are you doing? Watching an old man die. Bigger men than you've tried to destroy me. I've ripped them apart. And we cannot skip this cutscene too, so still gotta wait. On his knees. Beg all you want, that doesn't interest me. You don't even know why we attacked you. It was a mistake. We thought you wanted this. Don't lie to me, Rose. You were just sloppy. If you'd walked away, I would have forgotten you. What a lovely woman, Rose Washington. Wasn't for her death, where would I be? Most women die without purpose. 
But she had enough sense to die in front of the camera. See? And our mayor never tied you with his secrets. And stupid enough to fall in love. All of this. Lena's death. Because you didn't want to lose a puppet. Do you think you've won? You see, when I die, they'll build a statue. You and you... You have to help me. The city Something didn't stop for your grieving family. So because you don't right? matter. I... I know I have proof. Haven't you heard? I'm the vigilante. I clean up mess like you. dead. This is the part where I'm supposed to say I feel empty, right? I'd be lying to myself. I finally feel awake, like I can breathe again. And Lena? Nothing can change her death. At the end of this mission, I'm also going to use a blackout to escape. Make a difference. There's a bunch of cops chase you. T-Bone. It was Quinn after all. I'm uploading a video to you now. A video? Of what? You'll see. Squad to air support. Unknown suspect on the move. Track location and report back. Over. So we tell get inside to use the blackouts, then jump down here. That's barely enough health to survive the fall. Then go for this boat. No other good vehicles here, so the boat is best for exiting this place. So now I go into the cash run menu early, or smartphone menu early, and go use arrow keys to select the cash run. And when the mission ends, one select it as fast as possible. And if you're quick enough, you do not have to go to another location to start this mission. And, and you should get the Damien phone call. This Damien phone call. Now I can do, just do a short dialogue skip here. So now I just do a short dialogue. How could you let her play you? Leave her, Damien. Did you forget? We're not partners anymore. All bets are off. What has she done? Why would she call Damien? So far, I just used one to select the U100. Time by using that to shoot everyone. So because I got here so quickly with the cash run strat, 
her body glitches out and she's still standing up like that. Even though she got shot during the cutscene. In our world, we hide in the dark behind monitors. That's the only place we feel safe. It isn't enough to say that I didn't know. That lies would be lost or that it was only a job. I thought if I could help you heal, help you find answers, maybe I could heal myself. But I can't. When this is all over, I hope we can at least talk. Or if not, at least I can't disappear. That's something I'm good at. I brought this on Clara. And all of this comes down to blackmail. So final mission up next. Because an old man wants to protect his secrets. And Bloom. They can spin all they want to the press, but their hands are bloody. I'm done with secrets. So yeah, just use the map to fast travel to this place again. I start the last mission. Implicating Mayor Rushmore in the murder of a woman, Rose Washington. The woman was a former CTOS employee reported missing over a year ago. Mayor Rushmore has refused to comment. But a statement released by City Hall claims the footage is a fake, made by the hacker group DedSec in order to discredit the mayor. So you can kind of uh, move forward during this fate. So the faster strat here is to use the side Nora, but it's a little bit risky if you don't know how to control the bike. So Damien is gonna start hacking a bunch of stuff, but I can just use a blackout to cancel whatever he throws at me. Cancel what? So. About now. Still makes uh, the initial vehicles crash, but after that, they won't do much until the blackout runs off again. We guarantee that's just the start of it. Damien has full access. I'll call you once I'm in. Nice to have you back. I do like being useful. So, first photo hack. If I complete it, then it skips having to go to the street, different locations, and being chased by the cops. That means I can just go straight to the lighthouse. So I'll explain this hack. So first, let's first you want to do these two notes to lock this note. So you cannot do everything all at once for this hack. You have to do it step by step. Then move the, this one to this position and this note is suspicious. It'll get you every time. 
but then you know that very well, and to move these two nodes to lock this one this one two times and this one once I think move this one to the back to this position and all you know should be in this position to be able to do this hack so just move these two nodes and then the final one so I got the hack there but if you somehow mess up you can just exit out before the time runs out to try again so I'm just going to do the hack normally Without dead sec. I've linked to a satellite from here. T Bone's virus will reboot the entire system. I'll be back. I was one of the first people to do that hack. I think the official week watched us wiki quizzed me for the hack. All my old record videos, my old world record. So yeah, just jump down, go to this boat that always spawns here, and we're going to be taking the boat to the lighthouse. Why are you so damn stubborn? Quinn's dead. You got your sister back, and Clara, she stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who would think that, huh? But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Murloc job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan for meeting you. Yeah, completing the hack saves like 10 minutes or something like that. I don't make that it saves a lot of time. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your head. So, You're the only problem I'm going to crash this boat into the back of, of this place. It's faster than docking the boats. And I'm going to climb up some rocks. So I go over here, then went straight ahead, and should be able to go up the rocks. So you can also go over here and, as well to go up the rocks. Remember when you and I first so you can al also climb onto the railing of this lift as it's going up by just aiming with the gun and climbing up and holding the aim button. So to go up faster here, you just hug the railing as you're going up the stairs. That's what they call the lighthouse lookout. The widow's walk. Did you know that? I didn't. Seems fitting. Everything reeks of conclusion. Give it to me. So we're almost done. Time is coming up really quick. Very soon. Just to complete the quick time events. Shoot Damien in the head. That's time. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix a little girl's. So the epilogue, not included in the any person run. To all of this. Expose lies, corrupt Cause kings. Because we can't city. skip the credits, and, and me. pretty much just just doing. 
simple thing to just do. I don't look back anymore. And the game at that epilogue there. Okay. Everything's so I. For the most part, there like there's a lot of complicated timings with the dialogue skips, and that last hack is gonna take a little bit of practice. But everything else seemed pretty straightforward. Like there's gonna have to be some practicing involved, but it didn't seem like there was too much kind of stopping you from getting runs done. It's just a lot of practicing. Would that that's kind of accurate? Well, there's some RNG in terms of the strats, and like. So earlier Again, with the boats. Mayor Rushmore sure, yeah, and, that. And yeah. I, I talked about uh, the leaked documents found the Mission Act one with the scans, just marching with that. And the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor but for the most part, if you execute, or was he not executed? execute the strats, then you should, should be able to get a good time Blue in this game. Of public relations, like Gardner, sub 3, issued a statement regarding the 20, CTOS trouble. pretty reasonably. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else you kind of want to add uh, to the tutorial or just any helpful tips or anything? We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks and in some uh, cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could Yeah, when you re restart and reload all saves, restart missions, reload all saves, you can also use the mouse to do it, but it's less consistent. So that's why I use the in a world arrow keys instead. Spend more time with loved ones. Be active in our communities. Okay. Have safer, healthier homes and cities. And Bloom Industries, listen to you. One of the other missions I did earlier in the run, uh, not a job for Tyrone. There's also to be a community. Mm, easier to skip. Focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. And another another glitch on the mission doesn't save as much time though. But, uh, okay. uh, Next, an interview with a woman who called the vigilante. Thanks for Pierce. GG's. Yeah, thanks for watching the one. And Yolanda Mendez. Thanks for having me do this run. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much for for being on the show. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything, they can join the Discord and ask there. I met Mr. Pierce through the family. His sister. And if you want to follow me, I'll be doing some Oracle attempts trying to get this. Or I get below 310. For trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss awesome. any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But that's how you met. Uh, well, Pierce. that's all we have for What's tonight. It's impossible to say for uh, tomorrow, we are going to have uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 4 Pixel Remastered on What's Faster. That's going to be starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we are going to, this is the end of the show for the night, uh, we're going to take a quick break while we look for somebody to raid. Uh, if any uh, y'all wouldn't mind sticking around just so we can show somebody else who's doing some runs some support, that would be awesome. Thank you so much Random Numbers for being on the show, and thanks everybody for watching, hope y'all enjoyed it, have a great night.